Hey everyone, this is Bob with CellTechProductions.com. Today I have a quick tip for you on creating a stereo mix from a mono source. So let's get started. <music> Now what I have here is a guitar and bass track with live drums. The one guitar and bass track that I have is panned straight up the middle. The kick and snare are panned center as well. So other than the toms and the overheads, this is a very mono mix. So let's take a listen. <laughs> So the guitar track is the main focus in this mix. So let's give that some stereo spread to liven up this mix a little. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to duplicate this guitar track. I'm holding down the option key and I'm gonna drag this straight down. It just makes a copy of it. So now I have two identical guitar tracks. If I play it now, it's just louder. <laughs> So let's just highlight both of these tracks and pull the volume down just to rebalance this. So there we go. And now I'm going to pan those uh, hard left and right. It still sounds mono because it's exactly the same source coming out of the left and the right speaker. So what I like to start with is EQ. I'm going to give this guitar coming out of the right channel a different EQ curve. You can see my EQ, since I duplicated them, they're exactly the same. So uh, I pulled out some mud, I pulled out a little 200, pulled out a little 500. Now I'm going to go on the hunt for something that sounds good, probably 1500, 2K, somewhere around there, 2500, and we'll boost that area. So let me get up here around here and let's take a listen. Tell you what, let me solo this guitar track here that we're going to EQ, and we'll go on a little hunt here. So I'm going to leave it around 1800 and just boost that a little bit. About six and a half dB. And now I have a little bit different EQ curve on this right channel on this guitar. And what that's done is since I boosted that, it's kind of unbalanced that a little bit. I'm going to use this multimeter on the stereo mix, and I want to get a balance level between the left and the right guitar. And I'm already there. Now I'm going to put a tape delay on this right channel. And I don't want it beat synced. Uh, we'll start with 20 milliseconds. And let's see here, I'm going to use the diffuse mode. That'll give us a little tape head saturation. The whole idea is to get the right channel to sound a little different than the left. And I don't need any feedback. Um, I don't want any dry signal. So I want this 20 milliseconds to be 100% in the right channel. So it's going to be just the right channel is going to be delayed. So we'll start with uh, 20 milliseconds. Let me solo them both up. They're panned left and right. So now this right channel is uh, delayed by 20 milliseconds, EQ'd a little bit differently, and has a little tape saturation on it. So here we go. <laughs> Let's try 30. <laughs> Here's with it off.
back on. Back off. Let's try 40 milliseconds. I think I'm going to like something uh, a little bit in between. How about 35? All right, I'm going to toggle the uh, tape delay on and off here. Here's the power button. So when it's dark, it's off. It's lit up, it's on. I'll start with it off, and this should sound pretty mono like where we started. On. Back off. back on. So here it is in the mix. Off. On. Back off. So you can hear just taking that guitar in the right channel, EQing it differently, giving a little tape delay, a little bit of saturation, immediately opened up that guitar track and actually opened up the whole mix. Let me show you one other thing here. Mute this track. I'm going to go back to this guitar, this solo guitar here. It's going to be back in mono. I'm going to show you another option. This is the Imager plugin from Isotope. So go download this, guys. It's a free plugin, and it's the best one that I've tried so far. I'll put a link in the registered users area at celltechproductions.com. So go check this out. This plugin is basically you turn on the stereo eyes, and uh, the default amount is uh, 6.0, and then you just adjust the width here. You start with basically mono here, and then you can start adding some width. So I have, let me put this in solo. I have this on the, the mono guitar, and here's what it sounds like. I'll start with it down here in mono. And I'll just start increasing this width here. You can, you can see uh, the visual here on this vector scope uh, as it starts increasing the stereo spread. I think it sounded best around 45 to 50, somewhere in there. So I'm going to turn it on and off so you can hear what it's doing. Off. And back on. And here it is in the mix. Off. Back on. And not only can you use this great plug-in on individual tracks, I've even put it on the stereo bus. So here's my stereo bus. I have a similar setting here. So... This one's for the guitar. This is my stereo out. So let me, uh, let me turn that on and off. You can hear that. So now this is going to affect the entire mix. On. Let me just turn it on and off just on the stereo mix without the guitar here. It's going to affect everything anyway. So here you go.
So there you go, guys, a couple of great ways to increase the stereo spread with a recorded mono source. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>